investigation begun. I mean, complete. Time for cross-examining Larry Butts. Okay, we have to cross-examine him twice. Let's see if we can get through both cross-examinations in one video. That's because you're a big fat liar, Larry. Alrighty, Larry. Although, of course, when Larry said he's going to tell the truth, he was lying. So, yeah. Okay, let's cross-examine the testimony. Okay, that's true. That's true. True. Okay, true, but kind of weird. And totally false. Alright, so it looks like we are going to have to go to the last statement. And in that last statement, we will find out what this ultra embarrassing thing is. Alright, so go to the final statement, and then press that statement. And at this point, you want to raise an objection. Yes, Larry is not made of Santa quality stuff. Alrighty, so who was Larry trying to visit? The answer is clear. It's Wendy Oldbag.
Alrighty, one more piece of evidence. If you can't see where Edgeworth is going with this, he is talking about the stand-in request. Leary thought that he was visiting Mindy, but it turned out he was visiting Mrs. Oldbag. So it was just a stupid mistake on the part of Larry. You know, I don't think Larry has matured that much since third grade. Okay, okay, fine. We'll get another piece of testimony from Larry. Uh-huh. Alright, the final statement is the one that we want to go to. We have some evidence which totally proves Larry's motive. Not to mention you're a total fool, Larry. Alrighty, alrighty. Like I said, we have some evidence which proves that Larry was trying to meet, meet Mindy, right? That's her name? Yes, we have evidence which proves that Larry was trying to meet Mindy. And Larry thinks he's a lawyer, which would actually be kind of cool. I think I've mentioned this with my friends before. It would be cool if Larry became the third lawyer. You know, Phoenix is a lawyer, Edgeworth is a lawyer, Larry, Larry's totally going to become lawyer number three. And then when Larry is a lawyer, things are just going to be totally ridiculous 100% of the time. And here's the piece of evidence I'm talking about. It's the letter from a stalker, which was written by Larry. So at the final statement, present the letter from a stalker. Alrighty, way to go, Edgeworth. 
And what part of the letter is he talking about? Obviously, he's talking about the name on the letter. As you can see, it can pass for Wendy or Mindy. So you want to highlight the name. Seriously, Larry? Come on, Larry. Haven't you learned to stop lying by now? All righty. At this point, you want to present the Steel Samurai's autograph, which was also written by Larry. Alrighty, we have a confession. And now we have proven that Larry did not try to sneak into the room with murderous intent. He tried to sneak into the room with amorous intent. So Larry doesn't have a motive for murder. All right, we proved Larry innocent. Alrighty, here we go. Victory music! Larry's innocent. We don't have to see him. He won't go to jail because he's totally innocent. Larry's totally cool and Edgeworth proved him innocent. Way to go, Edgeworth, you're cool. Oh man, I can't come up with lyrics for that song anymore. Anyway, Larry is innocent for now. Well, yeah, just for now. In the next video, we will hear more testimony from Agent Lang, which makes Larry look guilty. And of course, Edgeworth will once again prove Larry innocent.